With the rise of TikTok and Instagram Reels, bio links are more important than ever. Links are essential on social media for promoting your websites, products, and events. You can tell users to go to the link in your bio, but what if you need to have several links for them to click? That's where apps like Linktree come in. You can put your Linktree in your bio, then you can link out to as many places as you'd like from your Linktree. It's kind of like a link to a page of links. Smart, right? And everyone uses Linktree, so you should just use Linktree too, right? Actually, Linktree may not be the best option. Let me tell you why. Here's the thing about Linktree. Instagram and TikTok users are using Linktree just because it's popular. I mean, it's become a noun at this point. Oh, go to the Linktree in my bio. It's everywhere. But just because a platform is popular doesn't mean it's the best option. I've talked about Linktree in the past and how it was far behind the competitors and a lot of the features are hidden behind a paywall. Fast forward to now and Linktree has seriously upped their game. They've added an app marketplace with deep integrations to platforms like TikTok and Cameo and Typeform. And now you can accept payments directly from users on your Linktree. You can add a tip jar or accept donations for your favorite cause. But even with all these improvements, Linktree still lags behind the competition and a lot of the features are still behind a paywall. You have to pay $9 a month just to enable access to the email list opt-in form, and their paid plans go as high as $24 a month. So if Linktree is such a common choice due to its popularity, what are the alternatives? I've got some great options to look at after I tell you about Mailjet, the sponsor of today's video. So here's the thing. BioLink apps are all about getting your audience to engage with a call to action. And one of the most valuable calls to action you can give to your audience is to ask them to subscribe to your email list. Once you build your email list, well, you've got to send out nice looking emails. And that's where MailJet can help. MailJet is an easy to use email marketing platform for designing, sending, and monitoring email campaigns. MailJet's editor makes it easy to create engaging email campaigns, newsletters, and automated emails in minutes. There's no coding, everything is drag and drop, and you can take advantage of beautiful pre-designed templates to save you time. MailJet has some amazing features like automated email workflows, so you can send emails to your customers at just the right time without having to remember when to send the emails. MailJet also gives you a ton of statistics. You can track email performance in real time and get actionable insights for future campaigns. MailJet is the best way to connect with your customers, whether you're a solo entrepreneur or a team. Thanks to MailJet for sponsoring this video. Head on over to MailJet.com slash made to try MailJet for free today. So when I say there are endless alternatives to Linktree, I mean it. There's more options than I can keep track of, but I've rounded up some of the most common ones to see how they compare to Linktree. First, let's start with Solo. Solo.to is a simple, intuitive Linktree alternative that allows you to add up to 25 custom links for free. They do still offer paid plans, but I think Solo cares much more about the individual user than Linktree. I've always gotten the feeling that Linktree is just trying to get as many subscription signups as possible, but Solo has been known to listen to user feedback in the past and implement changes that I've recommended. They definitely are falling behind these days though. They don't have any option to accept payments directly from users, and they're lacking a lot of the interactive features that Linktree and competitors have added recently. I think it's really a shame that Solo is still charging $10 a month just to enable email list opt-ins. I wish they would either make this feature free or maybe in their $1 a month plan. And overall, I don't recommend Solo for most use cases. If you're looking for a really simple, really basic free link system, Solo could be a good option, but in general, I think there are way better options out there. And that brings me to my personal favorite BioLink app, Koji. Listen, Koji is the innovator in this space. They've added the tip jar and the interactive features before Linktree or any of the competitors. Heck, the competitors have added these features because Koji added them and they went, oh, we gotta get our hands on these features. It's been really cool to see what Koji has been doing over the years. It's a BioLink app on steroids. You can have a tip jar. You can have a cameo booking service. You can even host NFTs or have AMAs all on your BioLink app. And the best part is it's 100% free. 
There are no monthly subscriptions with Koji. You don't have to pay $5 a month for these features or $10 a month for those features. You can do email list opt-ins. You can have a tip jar, all these cool things for free. What's the catch? Koji does charge transaction fees for any apps where you're accepting payments. The fee is between 5 and 15%, but it usually is 5%. This does include the card processing fee, so it's just 5%. But still, these fees could add up. I think it's more than fair if you're just starting out and you're paying $0 a month to access the service. What's a 5% fee for a couple donations through your tip jar or a couple cameos that are booked on your page? But what if you start to blow up? What if you start to get bigger? That 5% fee starts to equate to a big chunk of change. And there's no way to negotiate that rate down or pay a monthly fee in exchange for a lower transaction fee as you scale. So I could see that becoming a problem for big creators. But I think the thing I love most about Koji is the fact that none of the features are hidden behind a paywall. If you're not concerned about blowing up into the next Mr. Beast and having all these transaction fees, Koji is awesome. You can connect a custom domain. You can style your page however you want, all without a single monthly fee. And that is really cool, and it makes Koji the best overall option for anyone looking for an amazing BioLink app. But what if you're looking to change it up? What if you're saying, Christian, I don't want my BioLink page to look like everybody else's? Because let's be real, they all look the same. They all have the profile picture at the top and the rectangle links under it. Yeah, very unoriginal. Well, that's where LinkedIn.bio comes in. LinkedIn.bio is a platform by Later, a social media management service. The whole idea behind LinkedIn.bio is it mirrors your Instagram feed so you can see all of your recent posts and users can tap each post to get to the corresponding link. The idea is if you're constantly having links associated with your Instagram posts, they see one that's maybe three days old, they go to your bio, they tap the same post thumbnail and they get to the link that you were referring to in that post. Pretty cool, right? It's sort of like an Instagram profile within an Instagram profile. Some people think it's cluttered. I kind of fall into that opinion, but it is something that's different as far as layout. However, the biggest catch to LinkedIn.bio is the cost. So many things are hidden behind a paywall. If you wanna have Instagram Reels show up in your feed, you gotta upgrade. If you wanna have an email list opted, you gotta upgrade. If you wanna even change the theme or colors or fonts, you gotta upgrade. And okay, they've gotta make money somehow, but in order to use any of these features, you have to pay $18 a month for their starter plan. If that seems really expensive, it's because that's actually the starter plan for later, the social media management platform. So you're getting two for one, you're getting premium access to later where you can schedule social media posts on a calendar and a bunch of other features and LinkedIn.bio is sort of a feature of later. So if you're gonna use the two tools together and you're interested in using later anyway, then $18 a month is a reasonable cost for what you're getting. But if you're only interested in LinkedIn.bio, paying $18 a month just for the premium features on your BioLink page is a hefty price. Now, I wanted to take a look at a new BioLink app that's recently popped up. It's called Link Pop by Shopify, and it's being heavily marketed to influencers and creators. Link Pop is Shopify's way of sort of offering a light version of their platform at a cheaper price point. It's a link in bio app that has a free version, but the free version is extremely basic. You can add links, embed YouTube videos, and that's basically it. There's no email list opt-in offered. You can't track metrics with Facebook Pixel or Google Analytics. It's extremely basic and no frills. The main sell to Link Pop is that if you already use Shopify, you can link your store and sell products directly from Link Pop. So if you are an e-commerce brand, this could be really desirable to convert more customers from social media. They can just go to the link in your bio and make a purchase without having to go to another link or a full store or anything like that. 
However, if you're not already using Shopify, then Linkpop is not gonna make sense for a lot of people. It's extremely basic like I've already mentioned, and I think the only way it makes sense is if you're looking into starting to sell products and you wanna start small. The thing I do like about Linkpop is that you can connect it to Shopify starting at $5 a month. Shopify has a plan they call Shopify Basic, and for $5 a month plus a 5% transaction fee, you can start selling products through your link pop and directly on social media sites. This is a good start for a lot of people who are wanting to launch a product. Maybe you've got merch you wanna sell or you're hand making something and you wanna see how your audience responds. You can sell it starting at $5 a month through your link pop and it's powered by Shopify, which is a very reputable online selling platform, but it's definitely niche. It applies if you're looking to get into selling or already have a Shopify store. For everyone else, link pop doesn't have much to offer right now. Okay, so what is the best BioLink app for your needs? Well, I think for most people, Koji is going to be the obvious fit. There's no denying the innovation that they've brought to the market with all the interactive features and a $0 a month price tag is pretty sweet. So I think it's a fit for the average user. It's definitely my pick and my personal favorite. But what if you're wanting something different and Instagram is your primary social media? Well, I definitely think you could consider LinkedIn.bio. If you like how that UI functions where it mirrors your Instagram feed, LinkedIn.bio is the main app offering this type of interface, so it's a no-brainer. Just keep in mind that $18 a month fee is pretty steep, but it makes sense if you're just gonna use later anyway. And finally, if you're an avid Shopify user or you're looking to start selling products online, try Linkpop. You can start selling stuff for as low as $5 a month, and if you're already paying for Shopify, then Linkpop is effectively free to use. You can just connect your store and start selling products directly from your bio link page. And regardless of the calls to action you like to include in your social social media posts, don't forget to collect emails from your audience so you can communicate with them regularly. Here's the thing about email marketing, you will reach your audience. With social media, your posts can get buried with the algorithm and all that, but if you send an email to your audience, it's going to land in their mailbox. I like to use Mailjet to do this, and you can try Mailjet for free at mailjet.com slash Mate. And if you wanna know the best place to buy a domain name so you could do things like have a custom bio link, well, I've got a whole video on that that you can check out right here.